Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, so today I'm doing a full phase of Makeup Revolution. Now, I was looking for a makeup collection the other day and I actually own um, makeup, a makeup Revolution product for every single part of the makeup routine. So I was like, why not do a video on it? And I love Makeup Revolution and their products are amazing and I want to share that with you and tell you how amazing they are. If you want me to do any more of these videos, maybe we could do a full face of L'Oreal makeup, um, full face of Maybelline, anything you want, um, comment it down below. I would love to hear your suggestions and any other makeup related video you want me to do, comment that down below because I love hearing your suggestions. If you do like this video though, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and do click that notification bell if you want to see more videos like this in the future. And also, if you want to go and follow me on more um, platforms across the internet, my Instagram is underscoremakeuplove.xo. But without further ado guys, let's dive straight into today's brand new video. <laughs> foundation today and for the start of this makeup tutorial makeup look what am I even saying anyways I'm gonna use the makeup revolution fast based stick foundation now I used to love this like the start of my YouTube channel I used to wear this quite a lot and then I put it on my mum and it went all weird like around here and it looked really disgusting and really not nice at all so I kind of just stopped using it but today's video we are actually going to be diving in this again now I have this in the shade F3 so let's just start and apply this now I do remember that this dries very fast so I'm just gonna do one side blend in then the other side and I hope it is full coverage because I have some little friends popping up here so let's just got let's just get started Okay, this foundation is a little bit pale. Oh, wow. I'm then gonna take the tiniest bit of the concealer um, and just kind of help hide this part. Now, this is the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I probably shouldn't be using this because my face is so white. But I loved this concealer at one time, like honestly, but I ran out of it and just didn't get any more. Um, I really love this though, like this was my go-to, it's not too thick. See, realizing that the L'Oreal Infallible is actually a, uber, a bit too thick for my liking. And I still like to use it because honestly I have spots here. And I um, but on an everyday basis, I thought this concealer was the one to go and I think it's only like what four or five pound or like nine dollars or something go and get it Okay, so I just went off camera to set my face with some um, truly fair by What's it called max factor now? I'm gonna take the tiniest little bit of the revolution um bake and finish powder now this is way too white for me and sometimes it can make my under eyes look a little bit cakey so i just need to just tap it under there so i really have to take off the excess powder under here otherwise um it'll make my under eyes look really dry um, but it is a good setting powder if you just kind of take your time with it. Now, before I do brows, um, I'm going to go into the Revolution Bronze Palette. Now, you can still pick this up. Like, I was looking the other day and you can still get this. The exact palette from Amazon. 
Um, this is just the bronze palette from Makeup Revolution. I actually really loved this. Um, and then I just kind of got Hulan stuff, so I just kind of went indifferent. Now I'm gonna take um, this shade right here to bronze up my skin because I am looking a little bit like a ghost. And this was a really nice bronzer shade. Like I used to use this like all of the time. Okay, so I just went in with this brush and I took this shade up here to contour myself and it looks beautiful. Like my face and thing body's kind of matching now, which is good. Um, so I just took it to really deepen into my hairline and here to get a chiseled look. Now I really do feel like I did that. So I'm gonna take more of my Revolution setting powder and this little foam sponge and just carve out you know what all the beautiful influencers do look like you carve out this bit here yeah. I also took a tiny bit more to brighten my under eyes. Wow! Can I just say I've never actually done this before. It looks pretty nice. Well, I've got powder out of my eyes. I'm gonna brush away quickly the one under my eyes. Otherwise, this will look cute. I just needed highlight, and I'm gonna brush away the ones here. I'm then going to take some more of that contour shade, um, this one, and just run it down my nose with the big fan brush. And then just take my beauty blender and just blend it out. Okay, so for brows, as you know, the infamous Primark pomade has stuck by me for ages. I love the Primark pomade, um, and I have really like never used a pencil. Back in the day, I used to use a brow powder. I still have that MUA brow powder. Loved it, and I also, and obviously, I also have my Primark pomade. Those are the only two brow products I own. Now the other day I went out and I was like, I'm going to try an eyebrow pencil in my brand new video. So I got this Revolution Duo Brow Definer. Now I got the shade Medium Brown. I also have the shade Light Brown, but I'm going to see what Medium Brown looks like first. Um, so this has a um, spoolie on one side. Here's the spoolie. And then on the other side, we have the pencil side. Now I'm just gonna swatch the color for you. And this is actually a really creamy pencil. Like I was actually swatching it and it was going on very nice. Well, that's a horrendous uh, swatch. But you just kind of get the idea. There we go. You just kind of get the idea of what it looks like. I've mucked up already, oh my God. God, I keep mocking up. Okay, so I am gonna take some of that foundation. Oh my god, my face is itching down here because my makeup is so thick. And clean this up because honestly, these brows are not the tea. These look horrendous. Now, what I'm gonna do to kind of fill in the rest of my brows, um, I don't have the Revolution um, gel 
brow gel if they have one um but these are how my brows look now i am on the fence about this pencil there are quite a few things that i like about it um, and i never like when i first put it on i was a bit like oh my god what have i done my brows look absolutely horrendous but when i cleaned them up focused on and just like filled in any gaps any spaces that actually look pretty nice and um, i got them pretty even as well now i think the color is a bit too dark and um, my brows don't look that bad quite shocked because you know when you're doing them you mean like they look horrendous i'm quitting this video <laughs> but they don't look that hot bad actually and my face doesn't look that bad it just feels like i have quite a lot of makeup on let's strip in the eyeshadow makeup revolution eyeshadows absolutely amazing okay so the two that jump out the most when it comes to makeup revolution is definitely the revolution pro marriage palette this is the bomb i love these colors and these shades blend amazingly and obviously going to an old favorite the revolution pro um regeneration palette um these are all the multicolored ones the best you're looking for a for a cheap really good really really affordable eyeshadow multicolored palette pick up this one this is the best like i feel like it comes the james charles palette then it comes this one for like a more cheaper version of the james charles palette obviously not as many colors and but if you're looking for a, like like kind of a dupe go for this one this is the best also i own i got this set one year and i got these little palettes um they are really cute and they've just got like one's got sh loads of shimmers in that one there this one has loads of um mattes in to do loads of transition shades and this one just has a mix if you're going um traveling and you just want loads of different colors them as well also i own the revolution flawless four palette um this is a really good palette um it's got loads of pink shades the perfect what i love um, I think that's yep. and also i have the soft times revolution this is the soft's favorite i got this in my big massive makeup box from emily um, I will link that review video down below. I also have this one right here. Amazing. I have no idea what I want to do today. I probably want to dip into the pink yeah, tones and also the marriage palette. Now, I really rate these palettes. Like, go and pick up any Makeup Revolution palette. Because, honestly, they are all bomb. They will all blow you away as they did me. Okay, so the first shade I'm going to take is from the Revolution Pro Marriage Palette. And I'm going to take the shade Confront as a transition colour. I have no idea what eye makeup look I want to do today. Maybe just something like soft maybe. Um, I'm then going to go into the Revolution Flawless 4 palette, this one right here, and I'm going to take um, this shade right here, which is the shade Baby. Which one is it? That one there. Shade Baby. And I'm just going to put that over the top of this brownie shade in the crease. I'm then gonna go back into this palette and take the shade hair down and deepen up that um, crease and everything. I'm actually gonna go into the marriage palette and take provocative, I think. Yeah, I love this dark shade to deepen things up.
take a clean brush and just kind of blend it all out deeper than I thought. I'm then going to take ha I'm then going to take the shade Division, which is this one right here, and just pack that on the same outer corner. I'm also going to take the tiniest little bit of Corrupt because I still want it darker like that. take the access that was on that um, concealer brush we cut the eyebrows with, like cleaned the eyebrows up with, and just kind of create a base for the shimmer in the middle. I'm then actually going to take this bright ass blue colour from the Soph's Favourites and pop that in. I'm then going to take the shade Bloom from the Flawless Fall palette, which is this one, and take it and highlight my inner corner here. Right. I had to mix it in with some of that white shade, which is called Statement. I'm going to take the tiniest bit of um, on front again under my lower lash line as well as baby and then I'm going to take the bright blue shade the bright magenta shade and just highlight it in here So it kind of goes like a strip. Okay everyone, so this is the look all complete. It's very simple, just like, and I just applied a big pop of blue because I love that shade from the Soul's Favourites. Anyways, I'm gonna go off camera, do mascara, do the other eye, think about lashes, not too sure, and then I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna finish off the face and give my final thoughts. So yes, I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay everyone, so I have finished the eyes, I haven't applied false eyelashes, these are my real eyelashes and thanks to this bad boy, bad gal bang, the, my eyelashes look like this, like holy smokes. Can we just like appreciate like how long and everything they are? Thanks to this mascara, now I need to quickly apply blush. Um, I have this blush palette by um, Makeup Revolution, this is in the, the shade Hot Spice. Now, these are the shades that are in here. They are really pretty, actually. Now, I think that maybe this one is close, as close to, um, what's its face? The one that I love. I see a lot of pure color. Oh, I literally love that blusher. And I remember saying this in my review that it actually looks similar to um, Estee Lauder blush, so I'm gonna apply it. It has like a golden reflect to it, and that's what I love the most about the what's it called? <laughs> Estee Lauder one. Oh wow, like blush and everything just brings it together, don't you think? I'm then gonna go into the Ultra Glow Pro Glow palette by Makeup Revolution. This is in the shade. That's it, Ultra Pro, Pro Glow Palette. And I'm gonna take maybe like this one right here. Um, and I'm actually gonna apply some, actually no I'm not. I was gonna apply some Mary Badescu spray, but I'm not gonna bother. Cause I do not like the Skin Kiss by Makeup Revolution. That is just not a favorite of mine at all. Oh, that's really pretty. I mean, it can't go past Rosie for Autograph, but it actually is just like a nice glow, just perfect. Like, if you just wanna look nice and refreshed, hit up this palette. Actually, I really like that palette. Hmm. The last thing is lips. Now, I own three um, liquid lipsticks by Makeup Revolution. I own the shade E Ec Echelon, um, which is let's swatch that one. Okay, really bad swatch. 
These are really comfortable liquid lips. And we also have the shade Rain, my favorite shade. Um, I use this a couple of times. I freaking love this color. It's a perfect pinky nude. And then we have the darkest browny one called Noble. And that's a bit too dark for me. And then you also have this brand new one. This is the Revolution Pro Supreme Matte Lip Pigment in the shade Charade. Now, this is little. And this is what it looks like. It's actually really pretty. Um, but I don't like the formula of it. So, I'm actually going to take the shade Echelon, I think. And then I'm going to colour it in with the Pro Supreme Lip Pigment. I like as a concealer like say maybe I need to conceal this really bad spot for school I will use that as like a thick concealer but not as a foundation it's too thick for my face I don't personally like that I do like the finish of it um but I don't like how full coverage it is for me personally that's just not what I like um but if I need a concealer spot I will go for that concealer the um, foundation even the concealer is a definite yes I love that concealer I need to go and pick up another one the blush bronzer highlight is a, all a big yes as well as the eyeshadows and the eyebrow pencil I love it and um, unfortunately I didn't have a mascara I don't know if they sell a mascara but if they do I will pop one up on the screen now and um, I also do love the lip products this one just isn't a favorite of mine as it is too tacky um, it's not a favourite but I love how it looks with the mix of that um, liquid lipstick um, this one here it look, looks really pretty but anyways I hope you guys oh and also um, this powder is good to just like set maybe a spot in place or something but definitely not under the eyes it looks way too cakey um, I hope I can get another and Revolution Loose Setting Powder that I do really enjoy because I do love the other powders that they sell um, but I think that is it um, so yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you do like this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and do click the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this in the future and obviously don't forget to comment down below any more video suggestions that you want me to do but without further ado I'm gonna leave you guys here and see you guys all in my next one bye everyone